So we've looked at the file command and see how useful it can be when administering a Linux system. There are many commands such as file that help us to gather information, find where files are located, what are those files used for. And we're going to talk about a couple of those now. The which command prints the absolute path of the matching command which means it actually looks in the path variable to see if the command is there and if it is it prints out onto the screen the path to find that particular utility. It can be used in a number of different ways to help us even find what packages or applications install the particular command. The where is command is used to identify the location of a command and its man pages. It's very similar to the which command, but it also provides information about the man pages. And then the type command identifies the type of command being executed. That also has an alternate use when creating aliases on the file system. So let's open up the command prompt and look at all three of those. The first command we will use is the which command. If I type which CP, a command that we've been using quite often, it tells me where the CP command is located on the Linux system. I'll up arrow and type which ls. This not only tells me where it's located, it also tells me that there's an alias associated with this. So when I type ls, what I'm really typing is ls with the auto color feature turned on. Talking about aliases, when you create an alias, you're using a command and then creating a shortcut that references that command. So if I was creating an alias for changing to different TTY terminals, I might choose T1 as the shortcut command to switch to terminal 1. And I would type it out like this. Right, and that would create the alias. But before creating the alias, what I should really do is make sure that there is no other command on the system that is also named T1, because that would cause problems. One of the commands you can use to test that is the type command. So if I type type TTY, the system com comes back and tells me that there is a TTY located in user bin. If I t use the type command and type in T1, the alias I want to use, it comes back and says it's not found, which is a convenient way of letting me know that I can use that for an alias shortcut. So the type command has two basic functions. It allows you to see what type of file it is, and it allows you to test to make sure that you're not going to accidentally clobber a already existing file. The which command, along with showing us path, when used in conjunction with a command like RPM, can also show us what package was, was used to install that particular command. I could type RPM QF and put in the full path to dig. I could also use the back ticks, which are the single ticks above the tab key on the left side of your keyboard, and inside of there I could type which dig. What will happen here, because I'm using the back ticks, not single quotes, the back ticks, this will be actually processed first, the which command, and whatever that returns will be then put in this place and run against the RPM QF. So I'll type that. And what we see is that RPM QF returned that the command dig was installed by the bind utilities RPM. So which not only finds you the path, but can, can be used to help you identify packages. Now, I could have typed that twice. I could have typed which dig and then RPM dash QF and copied that into that place. Those commands are really the same. This is just a little bit quicker. 
and using some of the interesting functions you can find at the command line in the, in the Linux environment. So as you can see, I get the same results. The where is command is very similar to which in that it will provide you the path to the binary, but it also provides you information about the man pages that are included with that particular utility. So if I type where is dig, I not only find the path to the binary, but I also get information about what man page references that particular binary. So these are both these are all very useful commands that help us to quickly move and gather information about particular applications on our system.